What if the inserted neural link in your brains gets hacked? What if it runs out of battery power, yet you have no charger around you? What if the method of insertion is done wrongly? Elon Musk's Neuralink human trial is dangerous. You need to consider your decision if you're planning to go for the trial. Let's find out why. Neuralink. There will soon be humans walking around with chips inserted into their skulls. Kind courtesy of Elon Musk's Neuralink. Neuralink is one of Musk's innovative ideas that seeks to develop an implantable brain-computer interface that will process and send neural signals to external computers. According to Elon Musk, the Neuralink will help the blind to see and even enable the paralyzed to have control over their bodies again. He even goes further to state that with a Neuralink chip inserted, users can better control a smartphone with just their thoughts than someone using their hands to operate the same smartphone. This might sound too futuristic to achieve, but according to the latest Neuralink update about the 2022 Neuralink human trials, Neuralink could start trying the chip on humans in about six months' time. This follows a successful trial on a monkey and a number of pigs, which according to Musk, have all been responding perfectly to the Neuralink chip without any side effects. We'll talk more about that in a minute. The Link This is where Neuralink gets a bit dangerous. Central to the whole Neuralink concept is a coin-sized chipset that will be inserted into a human skull to perform several functions, such as backing up memories, restoring sight, enabling control over one's body, etc. For the chip to be inserted, there has to be an opening created within the human skull to serve as a passage for the chip. The mere thought of this sounds quite dangerous. However, Elon Musk assures users that the process of insertion will be nothing close to being painful and would take less than an hour to complete the whole process. You wouldn't even need anesthesia to get the insertion done. The operation would be done by a surgical robot in a quick and safe way according to Elon Musk. But on the other hand, this method of insertion makes the Neuralink dangerous. We further explain some of the dangers of the Neuralink later in the video. Keep watching! Take a second to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our Neuralink updates. Let's continue! Monkey Trials According to Elon Musk and Neuralink, the chip, also known as the Link, has successfully been tried on two animal species so far, a monkey and some pigs. With the monkey, Neuralink has shown a video of a monkey playing a video game and completing a couple of sentences by just using its mind. Of course, the monkey cannot spell, so it relies on letters that are highlighted on a computer. By just thinking about the highlighted letter, the Neuralink chip inserted in the monkey's brain and connected to a computer moves the computer cursor to the highlighted letter to complete a spelling. Same way Neuralink seeks to restore movement to paralyzed individuals. Aspirationally, such individuals could move the parts of their bodies by just using imagination. For example, if a paralyzed individual wants to raise an arm, all he needs to do is to imagine or think about the movements, and with the help of the link, they would be able to do so. Trial on Pigs Another demonstration shows a pig with a Neuralink chip successfully inserted in its brains to track its movement pattern. According to Elon Musk, the pig has been living with the chip for over two months without any behavioral changes or other side effects. He further states that there are also other pigs living with two of the chips in their brain also without any abnormal behaviors. This also shows that individuals will not be limited to having only one chip at a time. You could have more than one without any side effects. Lastly, Musk states that there are also a number of pigs that have had the Neuralink inserted and removed their brain a number of times without signs of abnormalities. This means that Neuralink users can easily remove old links for upgraded versions without side effects. Animal Testing These successful trials, however, do not mean the Neuralink is without side effects. The chip itself has not shown any downsides so far, but the methods of getting the Neuralink ready is where the problem lies. According to the Young Turks, the process of developing the Neuralink has caused the death of over 15,000 animals, including lab rats, pigs, and other animals due to constant pressure to get the link ready before scheduled dates. This leads to human errors and sometimes causes tests to be repeated. Not only does this rushed method waste time, it also leads to the loss of lives of innocent animals, some of which could be avoided. This rushed nature of trying the chip on animals is what makes the Neuralink dangerous for humans. Let's see why. The Neuralink is dangerous. Still in development stage, you can't vow that the Neuralink will be 100% safe. Testing on animals have so far been rushed, leading to avoidable deaths. What if the same rushed methods causing human errors are applied in the first human trials? Despite Elon Musk stating that the staff of Neuralink want to be extremely careful and certain that it will work well before putting a device into a human, you still have to consider if you're planning to volunteer for the first human trials. It is highly risky and dangerous. The method of insertion is also dangerous. Is there no other means of getting the chip into my body than opening my skull? What if the surgical robot makes a mistake? You need to consider that as well before going for the trials. Lastly, the chip being connected to a computer means it could be hacked. You don't want to be remotely controlled through an inserted chip by someone somewhere. 
Think about that as well. Will you still trial for the Neuralink? Let's know your reasons in the comments section below. We have all the latest 2023 updates and all the important stuff you need to know about the Neuralink in the next video. Click on the link to watch. See you next time. Bye next time.